In this video, we'll use the advanced functions of the Civilization Builder to finish our custom playable faction for Galactic Civilizations 3 Crusade. Part 1 of the tutorial covers all the basics, like naming your civilization and setting its gameplay bonuses and personality. If you haven't seen Part 1 of the tutorial, click the link in the description to check it out. Since we've already created the Mindweaver Collective, we'll click New Game and select it from the list on the left. We can click Edit to make more changes, or click Copy if we want to keep the old version. We'll go with that, just in case. In the first video, we used art assets that came with the game, but now we'll replace them with custom artwork. Pictures should be made as PNG files with transparent backgrounds. At the top of each selection window, you'll see the specifications for the picture size and the file path you should save it to, to make it appear in-game. Let's go ahead and drag in the custom artwork for the logo, portrait, and leader foreground. And just like that, it appears in the selection windows. Big thank you to Jimmy Niss for sharing his alien portrait with us. A link to his DeviantArt page is in the description. Check it out. We won't use a custom background, but we will replace it with something that matches the picture a little better. Nice. The Mindweavers already have a lot more personality. Now let's jump to the Appearance section. I downloaded the Modokan ship style from the Steam Workshop. All I have to do is select it, and then head over to the Fleets section. The Modokan ships are already loaded, but we'll be making a few changes. First, we'll rename the new Fleet style. In the left column, each individual ship class is listed. In the right column, you can see every ship template that can be used for that class. Just for fun, Let's replace the Baneling ship. I select it, then filter the templates to only show ships from the Altarian fleet style. Clicking on a template brings it up in the preview window. The Altarian constructor looks pretty cool as an exploding Mindweaver ship. The Modokan ships are all named with a Necromancer theme, which doesn't quite fit with the Mindweavers. I'll do a quick pass and rename the ships to better fit our malevolent psychic theme tweaking a few of the descriptions as well. Once the fleet style is complete, we have a few options. We can save just the fleet style without a civilization attached to it, so it appears as an option for other civilizations. We can even upload the fleet style to the Steam Workshop. That's how I got the Modokan style in the first place. Now let's drop down to the Personality section. It's time to give the Mindweaver citizens a facelift. We can start by clicking Choose Portraits at the bottom of the screen. I've already created a collection of citizen portraits using simple color changes and copied them to the appropriate folder. Now we just select a portrait, then add it as male or female. Clicking the My Portraits tab shows us which portraits have been selected. This looks great, so we'll hit Done. Now let's name the citizens by clicking Edit Names XML. This brings up an XML document, which is a customized markup language that strikes a happy medium between being powerful and easy to use. There are a lot of programs for editing XML files. I prefer the totally free Notepad++. You don't need to know XML to edit it. Just know that if you do learn it, you'll be able to do some pretty cool things with both the citizen names and the dialogue options. The name list comes in three sections, last names, male first names, female first names. We can put in as many entries as we want. Let's give the Mindweavers cool titles instead of last names, like The Vicious and The Brilliant. Then we'll add first names. I'm just making up words that seem to go together, making the male and female names end similarly to communicate gender. When we're done, we just save the document and close Notepad++. A word of warning. The XML files are attached to the name of the civilization. If you change the race name, you'll have to manually update the XML files too. Okay, so we're on to the next step, changing the Mindweaver's dialogue. The in-game editor gives you a few topics. Just select one and hit Edit Topic. This is for the first line of dialogue when the player encounters the Mindweavers for the first time. We want a sentence that communicates the Mindweaver's malicious intentions, so the player knows to watch his back. We can also change the response options. The in-game editor is easy to use, but it's a little limited. We want to go deeper, 
so we'll hit Edit Full XML. This is a long document, but don't be intimidated. Again, you don't need to know XML to use it. Context will help. Let's work our way through this document, rewriting the Mindweaver's lines to give them a unique, memorable personality. Here's an example of what you can do if you're a little more familiar with XML. This is a set of lines to use if the human player confronts the Mindweavers for building up a military presence on their border. The first option only appears if the diplomatic relations with the player are negative four or worse. In that case, the Mindweavers are downright rude and confrontational. The next option appears if relations are between negative three and three. That produces a neutral option. Finally, if relations are four or above, the Mindweavers give a conciliatory answer and call the player friend. When we're done, we save and close the document. Now we'll do some final tweaks to make sure everything is in order. In this case, we'll switch the short name to Mindweavers with an S, which should read a little better in diplomacy screens, and change the ship call sign, which appears at the beginning of each ship name. MCF stands for Mindweaver Collective Fleet. Now that we're happy with the civilization, let's save it. There's one step left. At the bottom of the first section is the Upload Civilization button. We can tweak the name and description of the civilization. Then we just hit the Upload button, and voila! The civilization is live on the Steam Workshop. Links to contributors, useful free programs, and the Mindweaver Collective on the Steam Workshop are all in the video description. Play around with them, then jump in and start playing with your own custom civs. We can't wait to see what you create in Galactic Civilizations 3 Crusade.